Okay, I'm in my Google Classroom and it looks like my teacher has assigned me to do a Flipgrid. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on the link. And now I need to log in with Google. And here I am in the Flipgrid. So let's scroll down and see what we're supposed to do. This one, the topic is talent show. I need to say my first name, tell what I'm going to be doing, and then I do my thing and I take a bow. Okay, I'm looking down and I could see that seven other people have already responded. So may maybe as soon as I'm done making mine, I will come and see some of these. But I'm ready to do mine. So I'm going to press the plus. And now it looks like I'm ready. I can kind of reposition it if I need to. If I want to record myself, I can just click on the record button here. But I have a couple other choices here. Looks like I can play around a little bit with the filters if I want to make things look a little different. And I can kind of go through these and decide what I want to do before I hit the record button so I can get it how I want it to be. I can also write some text on here. There we go. So I don't want it to cover my face. I'm going to move it over here. And I think Let's see what else we can do. We could add a sticker. Looks like I could choose an emoji. Or there's lots of different choices down here. I'm going to go with this guy right here and make it a little bit bigger. So I could look cool. That's pretty good. Okay, I think I'm ready to record. I'm going to go ahead and click the record button. Hi, my name is Miss Marina and um, for my talent show, I'm going to make a screencast of how to answer a Flipgrid as a student. Bye. So I went ahead and paused my recording and sometimes you might want to do part of your answer and then hit record and answer a little bit more and then hit record and answer a little bit more. That way you don't have to keep everything in your mind all at the same time. Sometimes people like to make some notes also and kind of, you know, read a little bit and then go back to their notes and read a little bit more. If I want to get rid of the stuff I wrote or the stickers, that would be this button right here. I could clear it. I can also do st stuff while I'm recording. So let's take a quick look at that. Let's say I want to clear everything and I want to switch to, let's do a blackboard. There's a blackboard and right now my pen is white. So I'm going to try to write something while I'm recording. Here we go. So you could see, I mean, it's kind of slow. Might make my video boring. So what I might want to do instead is pause it and do my drawing. Nice hair, right? And then I could press record again. And in my video, it would just jump straight over from the clip I did of me talking to the blackboard with all the stuff on it. I think that's pretty much the basic features you're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here next. And this is giving me like a preview. Basically, I can watch it, see if it came out how I wanted it to. Let me press pause here. Well, actually, let's let it run and see 
when it switches to the blackboard. There it is. So if I wanted to, I could click here and go back and add more. I might realize, oh, I forgot I was supposed to take a bow at the end. Let me go back and add that. If I, f I also can completely trash it and start over if, if I'm not liking how this came out. But I'm going to go ahead and advance through. Go ahead and do next. And then it asks you to pick, take a selfie, and this is going to be the thumbnail. Remember how when we went into the grid, you could see little thumbnail pictures of all the other people who had turned in their flip grids. So I have this stuffed animal here with me. I'm going to put use him for my selfie. All right, and then you can also add some stickers, add some fun filters. You can play around with those. I'm just going to go ahead and click next. And this is the important part. Like it says, don't close the window. So it's not going to be actually turned in until we finish this page and hit submit video. So this is where you're going to put your name. Um, you can put a title if you want. You really don't need to worry about the link thing unless your teacher asks you to put some kind of link in there. And then when you hit submit video, you will be all set. Once you see the fireworks, you know that your video is up. Now when I hit complete, I can see here's my thumbnail. That's already up there. And I can go back and I can watch some other people's videos. You see how these right here have some little extra circles? That's because people have replied to these. So three different people watched this video and left a little reply. Let's go over here and watch this one. Martinez, this is my talent. This is the beginning. I'm going to pause. Can you guess what my talent is? Okay, here we go. Step two. Can you guess what I'm making now? She does good camera work, huh? I'll product in a few minutes. I gotta cover it up and wait. Okay, step three. I flipped it. Now to leave it a little bit longer to make sure it cooks. It gets all melty, delicious cheese on the inside. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave Finish my up. reply, even though we haven't finished it. Hi, Miss Martinez. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. You do some really nice camera work. I liked how we could really get a clear picture of what you were doing and the omelet looked delicious. Bye. So that is how you can record some feedback or a response to someone else's video. And it's got all the same little choices here. If I wanted to get fancy, I'm just gonna go ahead and click through again. Hi, Ms. Martinez. Thank you for sharing. It's going to give me a chance to edit it or to go back and add more, or I can X out if I don't like how it came out. Going to go to next, take my selfie, my selfie buddy, and hit next. Don't close the window till it's done. Again, you can update your name right here if you want, add a title if you want, click Submit Video. Once you see the fireworks, you know you're good. Complete. And now, if I come back here, it looks like it's not showing up immediately, which means that my teacher probably has it set so that she has to approve my response. I'm going to reload the page real quick and see if it still comes up or if we really have to wait. Sometimes when you submit your video, you might not see it come up right away. That just means that your teacher has decided she's going to review the video before she approves it to appear in the feed. So um, as long as you see those fireworks, you're all set. Don't worry about um, whether or not your video made it in.
Yep, there we are right there. So I think it just took a minute to load. All right, so that is how you can respond to a Flipgrid.